Go guy with me over here. I got a few more rows at the car with me. It's uh, pretty modified and uh, looks well used. Uh, Ducati Monster. from Honda and Hawaiian Blue Grabber. Uh, pretty unique one there uh, set up at Wise anyway. Two door um, Accord I think. Accords and Civics. These are pretty popular. Uh, people like this model here. Men and women. It's good running car. Subarus and the Mustangs just come through here quick. He calls this one a Bumble Beast, kind of an old sound from a newer car. The green uh, polo green convertible Mustang. And another um, more of a forest green, almost in a black. There's a Celine Mustang. Let's go check out the pipes and the rocker panel like that. The Mustang Club's pulling in. So they reserved a spot for them. Uh, I don't, I don't remember seeing a grill like that for. A, but man, I tell you, I've been up to Detroit, man, and there's like hundreds and hundreds of these Mustangs supercharged Mustang here look at that blue one it says uh, eco boost so I mean he's got the, the rev limiters and all that in there to race that car and see whose Mustangs the fastest I think I've seen this one before it's from New York Long Island. So, a uh, pretty badass looking uh, bi turbo for freaking uh, Benz here. Yeah, he said heck with it and parked it over there. They got here late. Um, neon colored Hellcat. Mustang. Mustangs and Hondas and Camaros. And more Nissans here than I thought. Another 300. Uh, an older uh, second. Uh, that's the Mitsubishi they made over in Illinois, over at Bloomington. Uh, they sold crap tons of them. I don't know. Uh, GM probably lost that plant. Or uh, whoever it was. Chrysler's. What's going on here? It's a miniature car. Couple miniature cars. The Mini Group. Take them to the hill climb. That's a the 64. This one's a Tempest even. But that's a lot of car to have. Nice big heavy car. You get the tri power on there or something. What's this one? A Viper? No, that, it's a Supra. And a sand rail. Pretty wheels on this one. Four door car. Yeah, another Acura. Couple Mac. And uh, I think we've seen this Benz pulling in here. That's a beautiful car, isn't it? Very Oh wow, check out the uh, Curves, pretty spiffy too. Uh, yeah, huh. Kind of digging that for a minute. Uh, the, the museum's been closed up there. Uh, we're getting ready for a changeover now. Another one with this bag to slam it when you show uh, a good guy's car with a small engine, I think. No, he just has it tucked in there. Little Corvette engine in there. Huh. Uh, 
this is a uh, sapphire. Black sapphire, Cadillac paint. Oh wow, this paint's pretty nice. A... Look how clean that engine compartment is on there. They have a trunk, trunk mounted battery from the factory and everything on them. That's a slick, uh, slick, slick automobile there. Uh, a race car over here. A couple little guys in their little car. <laughs> so a Beamer crossover vehicle in black ready to do business it's probably four wheel drive and everything I don't know got a 40 lead this guy here another this is a Ford it looks like what, what? It looks like um, a foreign car though. Yeah, I'm not really up on any of these makes in particular. Th this is such a bright orange. I mean, I'm, I'm really, I'm liking this one. Beautiful paint color. It's not the best paint job, but. Um, Just the way everything contrasted. It's called a scat pack. Yeah, I, th I think we're all just anxious and uh, excited to be out here today. A couple more beautiful automobiles. Uh, classic Chevy that they built for a lot of years. Um, was a popular seller. Um, uh, European looking automobile here and this uh, the Hyundai I think they actually copied off a Corvette in this design somehow I could show you someday um, and we are going to have electric cars in my lifetime uh, I think you'll be disappointed though because um, they have out today uh, if you have any doubts uh, 1,000 horsepower electric motor the size of a briefcase and it's, it's not so much going to be an electric car it's going to be like a drone that hauls a passenger uh, funny that, that they chose the blue stripe on this but they did and I don't, it's not working for me very well um, so there's a sand rail over yonder um, but the electric car will be like, it'll be exactly like a drone, and you'll sit in there in the compartment, and it'll it'll do everything. You'll just push in there where you want to go, and it'll fly in there by itself, like a drone does. And if it ro runs low on a battery, it'll land itself. And there'll be dealers, and it could be within five years even that soon. Well, within my lifetime, there will be, you could call it an electric car, you go to the dealer, and you tell them you want one, and they they say, which one do you want? And you'll be landing on the roofs of the parking lots, and because uh, accidents and everything, and uh, it'll have all the avoidance systems to where if it comes close to something, it won't run into it. You'll just type in there where you want to go into your, it's, it'll be like a drone. And we're going to have flying cars really soon. It's, it's just a matter of, uh, of a short amount of time before it comes out. But they've already got it. They took those electric motors and ran a quarter, uh, three, uh, less than four seconds at 300 and some miles an hour fully electric uh, we have that today and it's just going to be it's just a large drone and um, be available to the masses so thanks for watching everybody but we're going to be here
Yeah, that's probably the fanciest Hyundai I've ever seen right there.